okay so rahul uh, welcome and uh, thanks a lot uh, for this interaction my pleasure sir okay so rahul lot of results are coming for you in foreign admissions lot of your students are now joining top universities with good scholarship yeah it's a very good experience actually i initially i was not believing that but yeah students are going okay so actually uh, rahul, uh, here here in us uh, every professor like indian students so i think indians has huge chances for phd and masters in abroad that that point i wanted to discuss with you why why you think uh, you know uh, in, indian students are you know uh, they are more preferred by professors in uh, united states uh, universities what is the reason so what i feel uh, if you ask any american students so they are not ready to put that much effort which asian students are putting so uh, we are always very competitive i mean like this day exam then gate exam so i think it's always a competition between indian and chinese student if professor is getting any indian and chinese student international student they will always prefer that mm, that's what Okay, so Rahul, I am uh, yeah. like I am putting just seventy percent of my effort, but I am thinking like I am way ahead than American students in putting a percent off. So, yeah, wonderful. So, Rahul, this uh, particular interaction is related to one of the very good opportunity, and that is uh, direct PhD option. Recently, uh, some of your students have got into direct PhD after B Tech, uh, so they have got uh, good scholarships also. Uh, I want to know from you. what are number one what are the advantages if a student goes directly after btech uh, to phd course uh, especially in, in usa what are the advantages mm-hmm. so one of the uh, advantages like they are getting their phd in so much younger age than other students if you are doing masters and phd one thing is that and i think other advantages uh completion time is almost same if you are joining after masters or direct phd both are going in four and half or five years so okay. these are the two advantage other thing is like mostly if you are going after direct phd you will get masters degree also uh, in two years so first two years do some work then masters degree and uh, if you don't want to continue you can go in job market and your masters is free of cost then because in phd you always get scholarship so this is a one of biggest advantage for mm-hmm. i think mm-hmm. direct phd mm-hmm. so so let me uh, see it from from different perspective rahul if a student goes for ms after btech how much money he spends and if he goes after btech for direct phd then mm-hmm. he will get a scholarship to my knowledge so will he spend any money so these two uh, points please discuss So one thing is if you are going for masters in US, you have to spend at least forty to forty five lakh. This is the standard money which in every state you have to spend if you are going for masters. And the most people what they don't know. So the thing is in direct PhD you don't have to spend any money. Initially you have to spend something on GRE exam, TOEFL exam mm-hmm. that is twelve thousand, twelve thousand. That's fine. But after that you don't have to spend. And again I am saying like one of the biggest advantage. if after 2 years you think like phd is not working out take your masters degree and go out for job market and your masters in that case is free of cost so this is one of the biggest advantage of okay, direct phd okay so so that means if you go for direct phd you can convert mm-hmm. that into ms and go for job market right yes that's correct and and you need not to spend that 40 lakh or whatever you mentioned uh, for doing your ms so two things uh one thing is when you are going for master you have to pay a uh, fees for each courses uh, so per semester i think 15000 dollars this is a standard fees in us mm-hmm. so that you have to spend and other thing is your cost of living so uh, your room rent everything but if you are in direct phd your fees is waived off and you will get monthly stipend of of uh, 2000 is standard stipend in whole us but if you are living in new york like i am living so i am getting 3000 if you are living in expenses it is yeah okay. so this is for direct phd also hmm. acha rahul no tell me one thing like uh, because there are so many advantages of doing direct phd the max best one is what what i feel is for indian students is money you know that you are not to spend that much of money and you get scholarship but then if there are so many advantages i am very sure they will it will be difficult also 
please tell the students who are doing btech and are uh, aspiring to go for direct phd what are the credentials required how a typical student in btech can think of you know going for direct phd uske paas kya hona chahiye what what are the credentials required mm -hmm. so one thing is if you are from iit and iit then uh, there is less competition because here every professor know about iit and iit so if you are apply you will get some advantage but this is this was my thinking when i was in india like direct phd only iitians will get once i come here i see in my university there are lot of direct phd student from srm mit so i was really shocked so then i talked to these people so what i observed you should have good cgpa if you want direct phd you should have good gre score that is the two basic requirement other thing is ki if you are able to write somewhat uh, research or conference paper or something like that whatever uh, final project you did in your bachelor if somehow you are able to convert it into any research paper uh, 90% chance you will get direct phd so cgpa more than 8.5 and uh, one small publication maybe it's a review paper or conference paper because journal papers are difficult so that's uh, in btech it's not possible uh, many times but if you have this thing and other thing if you have job experience you will get some points so these are the things that you can record for direct phd mm -hmm. so as you mentioned a gre score good and when you say good gre score out of 340 what do you mean by that it means 315 320 okay that is a good gre score yeah and 8.5 cgp and any research paper uh, this thing even conference paper will do rahul yes yes conference paper will do so uh, i was discussing this thing with my professor i think last month so i was asking him like what you check in international student when you are selecting these international students so he was saying like they are not interested in publication that much but if you have publication then they will get to know like okay you have some writing skills you know how to write a uh, research paper so they are not going after quality if you have any publication conference paper review paper they will give you some points give you some advantage no no last question uh, rahul what is the best time when this process a student in uh, btech can start if he is interested to go for abroad a uh, best time always is seventh semester not in eighth semester so if you are planning for phd uh, for example you want to join next year august so then uh, previous year 15 december is the deadline for most of the universities so in that uh, at that time you are in seventh or just in the starting of eighth semester so that is the time when you have to apply so you have to prepare for it one year before actually okay. applying there yeah. so so let's say uh, 2023 if they want to go in july or august 2023 yeah. they should start process now am i right in that yeah they have to prepare for gre now but yes. actually they have to apply before 15 december of this year okay, okay. so that's it now uh, let's say june month has started let's say yeah. so in uh, now they should start preparing for gre and so strategy uh, yeah strategy should be 3 months for gre now onwards they have to try for gre yeah, yeah. Uh, then just before the application for example you are applying in december so just one month before either toefl or ielts any one exam they have to give okay. and remaining time try to spend on good sop or good academic cv you can contact professors also yes. like you are interested in phd so this should be the plan for b tech students direct phd wonderful. for direct phd yeah wonderful rahul is there any limit of number of students uh, uh, in us which they take for this direct phd courses or is there uh, if you can tell something about how many students they can accommodate the universities so it is like in us uh, it is not like india in india mhrd is giving scholarship to students for yes. phd in us it's not like that it's always professor so they keep on writing research proposal to different industries uh, yes. so whenever they will get funding so right now like my professor wrote some research proposal he got funding for three students so uh, in this way like every professor got some position there is no limit as such how many funding they will get according to that uh, basically they will get uh, this phd position and uh, some students have confusion like uh, in india we have summer session that, that is main session and winter session where inductment is less but in us it is not like that whenever professor is getting funding he will open a position if you are sending email they will hire you very simple wonderful wonderful
so so now i ended up uh, my session here only interactive session with you rahul and uh, let's uh, push hard for, for students from india uh, they may get a very good opportunities in phd we'll uh, try to uh, you know tell students many such opportunities and options this year and uh, i'll keep on coming and interacting with you for such uh, wonderful information thanks a lot rahul